the U.S. economy is undergoing a transformation, one that hasn't been seen in decades. After years of sluggish productivity growth, we are now witnessing what some call a productivity revival. But what's driving it? In a word, technology. Artificial intelligence, automation, cloud computing, and machine learning, all these innovations are not just buzzwords anymore. They're embedded in the way we live, work, and build value. From factory floors to financial firms, and from classrooms to call centers, technology is revolutionizing how things get done. But it also raises deeper questions. Are these gains sustainable? Will the average worker benefit, or are we headed into a future where only the tech elite thrive? Let's explore how productivity, once thought stagnant, is now surging, and what that means for the economy, your job, and your future. Before we dive deeper, let's define a simple but powerful concept, productivity. It refers to how much output goods or services we generate per hour of work. The more productive we are, the more we can produce with less effort, time, or cost. In economics, productivity isn't just an abstract metric. It's a central driver of higher living standards. Historically, when productivity rises, wages grow, companies invest more, and governments can afford stronger social safety nets. During the post, World War II boom, especially from 1945 to the early 1972nd, the U.S. experienced rapid productivity growth. Those years laid the foundation for the modern American middle class. Incomes rose, homeownership soared, education expanded. But beginning in the mid 1000 972nd, things changed. Productivity growth slowed, and wage growth began to decouple from worker output. Many workers began to feel left behind doing more, earning less. From the mid 1000 972nd to the early 2000 second, productivity gains became uneven. Despite breakthroughs like the personal computer and the internet, overall productivity did not accelerate in the way many expected. Part of the problem was adoption. While tech advanced rapidly, businesses and institutions were slower to change their processes and culture. Email replaced faxes, but meetings still dragged on. Data was everywhere, but often underused. Some economists argued that productivity simply wasn't being measured accurately, especially in a service-based digital economy. Others believed that the benefits of technology were being absorbed disproportionately by corporations, not workers. Whatever the cause, the result was clear. Economic growth slowed, inequality widened, and many Americans began to question whether technological progress truly led to shared prosperity. Fast forward to 2023. Something changed. A sudden and sharp rise in labor productivity surprised economists and business leaders alike. What triggered this shift? The answer lies in the convergence of several maturing technologies, most notably artificial intelligence, large language models, and automation tools. But unlike earlier innovations, this wave of tech is now directly embedded into workflows across industries. Think about it. AI now drafts emails, summarizes meetings, and writes code. Automation handles warehouse logistics, scheduling, and even medical diagnostics. Workers aren't just using computers, they're collaborating with them. This shift, sometimes called augmented intelligence, is proving far more scalable than previous waves. In short, tech is finally doing what it promised, letting humans do more with less. AI and automation aren't boosting all industries equally. Certain sectors are reaping the most dramatic gains. In professional services, tools like ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot are helping with coding, legal research, and document drafting. In retail and logistics, AI-powered demand forecasting and smart supply chains are reducing waste and improving efficiency. In healthcare, large models analyze data faster than humans assisting in diagnostics, treatment recommendations, and patient engagement. And in education, generative AI is reshaping curriculum design, grading, and student support, enabling more personalized learning. Even small businesses are catching up. Tools once reserved for large corporations are now affordable and user-friendly, thanks to cloud platforms and APIs. But what does all this mean for workers? That's the trillion-dollar question. For some, it means liberation from tedious, repetitive tasks. For others, it signals a looming threat to their role or profession. New jobs are emerging, prompt engineers, AI ethicists, automation analysts. But traditional roles are evolving too. An accountant now needs to know how to use AI-powered reporting. A teacher might lean on algorithms to track student progress. The future belongs to those who can collaborate with machines, not compete against them. That means reskilling is critical. But we can't ignore the risks, job polarization, wage compression, and geographic inequality. Not every worker has equal access to these tools or the ability to adapt quickly. Every productivity revolution brings both winners and losers. Without thoughtful policy, the gains from tech can widen the gap between the top and the bottom. Already, we see the signs. Tech giants capturing massive value, while wages for lower skilled jobs stagnate. There's also a risk that automation could outpace job creation at least in the short run. Ethical concerns also loom large. Who controls the algorithms? How do we guard against bias, surveillance, or misinformation? If productivity gains flow only to shareholders, we miss a historic opportunity for broad-based growth. 
So is this a new golden age? Possibly, but it depends on how we respond. If we invest in digital infrastructure, support continuous learning, and build guardrails for AI, we could see an economic renaissance. More output with fewer inputs, higher wages for more workers, better public services through digital efficiency. But the alternative is just as plausible. Increased precarity, broken trust, and wasted potential. The productivity revival is real, but it's fragile. The next chapter of the American economy is being written right now, and we all have a role in shaping it. Technology doesn't guarantee prosperity, but it can enable it. The question is, will we rise to the occasion? This is American Economic Files. If you want more clear, accessible explanations about the U.S. economy, subscribe and stay curious.